wow, so many people wash their face with commercial bar soap without even thinking twice. And they wonder why they have to use lotions and creams and they wonder why their skin's so dry. And they have to use things to counter this dermatitis or little areas of red patches. So I wanna just increase your awareness on what's actually in commercial soap so you can just get an alternative. So let's talk about the ingredients first. So number one, you have this chemical called sodium lauryl sulfate. Now, sometimes they'll use ammonium lauryl sulfate too. And this is the lathering agent. It's in your shampoos. It's in your cleansers. It's in your body washes. It's the thing that makes that lathering effect. And recently I released my own shampoo and conditioner. And some people are wondering, why doesn't it lather like my regular shampoo? Well, that's because we omitted this one ingredient. It's a synthetic chemical that can irritate your skin. It can create inflammation and it can dry out your skin. And sometimes this chemical is contaminated with other chemicals that are carcinogenic. So definitely start reading the back of the ingredients. Now I'm mainly talking about the face. I mean, you could use it for the rest of the body. I mean, that's not a big issue, but I wouldn't put it on your face. The number two ingredient to watch out for is parabens. So, and definitely look at other names because sometimes they'll put um, methyl paraben or propyl parabens, but anything with parabens you want to avoid. It's a preservative, it's an antibacterial, but it can lead to an estrogenic effect. And there's certain studies that even shows that it affects the fertility um, in animal studies. So anything you put on the skin actually absorbs inside your body. Your skin is like a sponge. So just remember that. Your skin is really the primary barrier for your immune system. So there's a lot of friendly bacteria on the skin that you don't want to kill. So anything that's an antibacterial, watch out for because it's also gonna kill off your good bacteria, very similar to an antibiotic. And then what happens is you get this overgrowth of other microbes that you don't want, like yeast, candida, uh, things like that. All right, number three ingredient to watch out for is formaldehyde. It's a great to embalm a body, but not to embalm your face. It can increase your risk of getting cancer. It can really dry out your skin. And the next one is the synthetic fragrances, okay? I mean, some of these soaps are just so, so strong and so irritating, uh, but they're petroleum-based. They're petrochemicals. There's solvents that they use to make these fragrances. So you really want a soap that's either fragrance-free or that only uses essential oils. All right, next one is something called triclosin, okay? Triclosin is a very powerful antibacterial chemical. But the problem is, like I just said, it can kill off the good bacteria and increase the risk of E. coli and, and even MRSA. So avoid things with this chemical. The other thing they quite commonly use in soaps is coal tar dyes, okay? They're coloring agents. And the way they make these is with chemicals, petroleum type products. And there's all sorts of negative effects, especially drying out your skin. I mean, I remember growing up having bad acne and here I was using a bar of soap, commercial soap, scrubbing my face, thinking that would help. It always just worsened my skin. It aggravated my acne and uh, it never got rid of it. So the solution is to spend a little bit more on something that's more natural, something that is either homemade or handcrafted, something that does not have uh, sodium lauryl uh, sulfate, something that's fragrance free, doesn't have the synthetic dyes, yet something that's made out of a healthy fat that uses essential oils and doesn't have chemicals. Now, I think a really appropriate next video for you to watch, which would be this one on how to diagnose the inside of your body just by looking at the face. Check it out, I put it up right here.